Assalamualaikum. My name is Abdul Muhaimin bin Muhammad Zamri from class SC 1105A. In this presentation, I will present for the introduction, conclusion and recommendation. A transnational audit is a financial statement audit which can be used to make significant lending, investment or regulatory decisions outside of the audited entity's home jurisdiction, as their financial statements are or may be relied upon outside their home jurisdiction, audits of entities with listed equity or debt are always transnational audits, even if an organization doesn't currently have any foreign shareholders, the financial statements may be relied on by a foreign investor or creditor at some point in the future in an actual or possible investment or loan decision, so the audit should be treated as a transnational audit. The Forum of Firms or FOF is in charge of transnational auditing. The FOF is an independent organization of international auditing networks. Its primary goal is to promote high quality and consistent financial auditing and reporting practices around the world by bringing together firms that perform transnational audits and involving them closely with International Federation of Accountants or IFAC guidelines in audit and other related areas. Furthermore, to act as the official link between IFAC and the FOF, a committee was established. The IFAC Transnational Auditors Committee is the name of this committee. The IFAC Transnational Auditors Committee is generally responsible for implementing and improving the goals and operations of the FOF. The committee also helps to ensure that foreign members generate high quality international audits by requiring them to adhere to particular international standards as a condition of membership. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Amir Hamka bin Muhammad Rizal. My metric number is 2019-411184 and I'm from AC 1105A. Alright, so I'm going to explain about the first key issue which is domain semantic. First thing first, financial reporting involves the publication of financial statements together with supplementary materials such as notes, independent auditor's report, and management report. This is act as an incentive for globalization of the financial market. And thus, transnational auditing, where this concept of auditing is using one or more languages with the goal of keeping updated in the market. They also discovered that it is important and vital for publishing the independent audit and audit report in various language in order to break through or experience in new market. Now we move to the next part. The first problem that would likely to occur uh, is in the domain of semantics. Semantics is the study of the meaning of words and in international auditing, it involves the translation of the audit report into multiple languages. Semantic issue can be minimized if there is a set of similarities in a conceptual object manipulated by the accountants or auditors. There are a few factors that are highlighted in this section, which are parallels in the institutional context. The next one is metaphor and other figures of speech that are common across language cultures. Hence, hence a uh, semantic issue will arise when there is differences in the conceptual object of accounting. In other words, a technique to extract domain models from corporate representing the application domain. That's all from me. Thank you. I will pass uh, the next explanation to Azrizal. Thank you, Ami. And now I will continue with the next problem in transnational audit, which is domain of pragmatic. This domain of pragmatics is concerned with practices and it is divided into two domains, which are prima linguistics and socio -primatics. First, I will explain about the prima linguistics. 
This domain can be defined as the act of transmitting information in a given language. The issue here is when writer just assume they could refer to their mother tongue to directly translate into other languages. For example, some Italian company often mistaken translating word sales into invoice in an income statement. Next, I will explain about sociopragmatic. The issue in sociopragmatic may occur when the translation is appropriate, but the form of expression used in the source language is inappropriate. For example, the wording of a typical Belgian audit report may strike British readers as flowery, to the point of casting doubt on the auditor's independence. Similarly, the language of typical British audit report may strike a Belgian reader as cold and lacking in courtesy. In the end, differences in culture, language, audit methodology can make the interpretation of audit report extremely difficult. That is all for the key issues, and now I will pass to Adib to explain the analysis and evaluation. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Adib bin Azman. My matrix number is 2019-421116, and I am from classes AC1105A, and today I will present about Appropriate Analysis and Evaluation First and foremost, several articles has, have been chosen to analyze and evaluate the issues surrounding the transnational audit and these are what we found. First one is application of auditing standards. Many nations throughout the globe have implemented international standards on auditing ISAs. However, not all have done so. Instead, they are going for locally devised auditing rules. Furthermore, several nations utilize ISA that have been updated and modified. This means that in a transnational audit, some aspects of the group financial statement will have been audited using a different auditing framework, potentially resulting in inconsistent audit process across the group and thus affecting the audit's overall quality. Next, we move to the second one, which is regulation and oversight of auditors. Similar to the previous statement on the usage of ISA, there are several methods in which auditors' action are controlled and supervised across the world. In some nations, the audit profession is self-regulated and in others, a more statutory approach is adopted. This also can affect the quality of the auditing process in a transnational situation. And that's it from me and we move to the Arif has one for the other analysis. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Arif Hazwan bin Abdullah Zawawi. My matrix number is 20192035188 and I'm from SC1105A. And I will continue the presentation of appropriate analysis and evaluation the issues surrounding transnational audit. So, we analyze and evaluate that issues surrounding transnational audit will affect the financial reporting framework. Some countries use international financial reporting standards, while others use domestic accounting standards. To comply with the standards of the countries relevant to the group financial statements, adjustment, reconciliation, or restatement are likely to be required within a transnational group. For example, the jurisdiction of the parent company in most cases. Such reconciliations can be difficult and require a high level of technical competence on the part of the both preparer and the auditor. And finally, there are corporate governance requirements to consider as well as the consequent control risk. Some countries have quite prescriptive corporate governance rules which the auditor must evaluate as part of the audit process. So, in this case, the auditor may be required to perform additional work in addition to local requirements to ensure good wide conformity with the requirements of the countries relevant to the financial statements. 
However, certain countries have very little corporate governance legislation and controls are likely to be weaker than in other components of the business. As a result, control risk is likely to differ among the group subsidiaries. So that's all from me. Thank you and I will pass the presentation to Mohaimin for recommendation and conclusion. The last one is conclusion and recommendation. In conclusion, the transnational audit is a concept of auditing that introduced by European business organizations which is using one or more languages in auditing with the goal of keeping updated in the market. It can be used to make significant lending, investment or regulatory decisions outside of the audited entity's home jurisdiction. The Forum of Firms, which is FOF, is in charge of the transnational auditing. Apart from that, there are several problems that arise in this auditing concept, which is the problem in the domain of semantics, which is the problem in the translation of the audit report into multiple languages. And the next problem is the domain of pragmatic, which is the problem of using the appropriate expression in the source language. The recommendation to prevent the problem for semantic is accountants or auditors need the similarities in the conceptual object. And the recommendation to prevent the pragmatic problem is the accountants or auditors need to set up a same words to express specific components for all of the country in order to prevent from the use of various forms of word in different countries. That's all from our group. Thank you.